Hey everybody, Ernie Hatmaker here, and I just want to give you some uh, pros and cons about using the cattle panel trellises. Uh, we actually have some arch trellises behind here, uh, which if you followed the channel a little bit, you saw where we actually put them up. Um, and what you see here is what was here in summer. This is what I have not cleaned up for the fall. <laughs> um, now the Arkansas uh, Traveler tomatoes and you know what little pepper vines or whatever that we had, that's what you see hanging out here. Um, I'm going to be looking in a minute before, you know, we clean all this stuff up anyway. I'm going to look and make sure that I didn't miss any um, praying mantis eggs because that's actually what I, I was kind of holding out for before the frost hit. But anyway, um, some pros and cons to cattle panels. Um, this was our first year using them out here. Of course, you know, if you follow this at all this used to be all the soybean field and we're slowly building it up so the first thing which obviously is it's a space saver um this is one two three four five six i think it was 10 arkansas traveler plants and we had buku tomatoes on here and um i'll show you the cages where we can only put one in one spot one in one spot and the cages take up so much room and you know trying to keep them trimmed and pruned and all that um, that that was a little bit of an issue in just regular round tomato cages so it was kind of good that we had the uh, the panels so that they could go up and spread out and that brings up the first or I guess that's probably the second pro which is it's easy to prune um, the, the leaves are just right there. The stems are just right there. If you're taking off suckers, they're right there. They're all handy for you to reach. It's easy to pin them up or tie them up or however you, you know, want to hold your, uh, your plants up until they get a grip. It's easy to push them in and weave them around the panel to keep them up. And they flourished that way. Another good um, quality about how sturdy they are, and of course these are galvanized steel, which if you're going to get them, get galvanized so they don't rust, because rusting is a pro, uh, or rust free is a pro, and rusting of course would be a con, so make sure that you get them galvanized so that they last you a while. But um, they're really strong, because they were made, you know, to keep cows into a, a pasture or whatever, so um, the wind's blown, um, the tomatoes get heavy and stuff like that and we've used regular wire like the wire cages will bend you know I mean some people use like rebar or whatever whatever works but it's sturdy it's easy to harvest because you literally are sticking your hand you could stick your hand to the other side and grab them whereas if you're in a cage or they're just bushes on the ground you're literally you know you can't see where you're putting your hand and and <laughs> That to me is a, a big plus for me because I want to be able to see what's on them. You never know, right? Looking for jumping spiders or snakes or whatever might be, you know, living there. Now, the squares, because they're so wide, they also offer easy pollination. You know, the bees can zoom right in there. Of course, that would also be a con if you had other bugs because they can also, you know, hit the flowers and eat them. <laughs> and they're right out there for you to see. You know, so, you know, I guess that that could be a pro or a con, but it's definitely easy pollination. Like whenever we had squash, which I had a squash vine growing on top and, you know, I deliberately pinned it on top until it could take off on its own. But, you know, you literally just shake the pollen down and, you know, it's easy for you to self-pollinate. Easy harvesting and easy airflow. Now we have a humid, humid um, environment out here. Because, you know, we're in Arkansas. So, we have a problem with mildew and blight sometimes on our leaves. We did not have that problem with this panel here. And we had a little bit of, of uh, yellowing of leaves because of the airflow situation in our cages. But, yeah, these panels, we had no problem whatsoever with blight or, you know, molding or, or whatever, you know, the common, you know, little diseases. Now, something that could be a pro or a con, uh, depending on, you know, how deep your pockets are, is the fact that these panels, they're inexpensive 
you know, when you think of some of your gardening options, um, it's definitely less expensive than trying to, you know, build, a, say, a frame out of wood to hold these things up. But it's it's less expensive when it comes, you know, for uh, just just grabbing it at the the farm supply store or whatever. These came from um, Tractor Supply, I believe, but other places have them too. The same size. They're basically a standard size. You either get the, uh, I think it's like, uh, what was this, a 15 foot or 16 foot and some, you know, just 16 foot panels. Um, they're, so I think they came in 8 foot and 16 foot, but yeah, they were easy to uh, find. They're not so easy to handle. That would be a con if you're working by yourself. You cannot put one of these together by yourself with ease. I'm just going to tell you, you need help. Um, now, Ed put these together. I mean, you got to buy the T-Post. And they were, what, $21 for um, the shorter ones. And I think like $24 for the longer ones. So, I mean, they're the the, uh, the panel themselves, you know, were in the $20 range. T-Post, you know, five or six bucks. And you get the uh, six foot, eight foot, whatever. So, um, yeah, the, the expense, depending on, you know, how many you want and uh, what size you want. It's either very inexpensive or very expensive so and you can see that we made arches um, which they looked a lot better when they didn't have a bunch of dying grass and you can see bindweed has has found its way up too because that would be a, a con is that sometimes you know the weeds will work their way in and you know I mean it's easy to see them but sometimes it's hard to stop them but uh yeah, the, they're very flexible and they're easy to bend so that you can make arches out of them. I think I have seen several people make cattle panel greenhouses just by making the arches and then putting their plastic over them. And, I mean, it seems pretty simple. I mean, if I had to, we could probably do the same thing and put some nice plastic over, you know, and close it in some kind of way and I'm not averse to trying that I actually wanted to uh, get a couple more cattle panels but I don't know if I want to do arches or if I want to keep them flat because um, next year I'm doing a lot more with uh, tomatoes that that work for us one of the major cons major 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 con for me anyway when you have um, bugs that attack the bugs don't necessarily if you're like if you're treating your uh, your plants the bugs don't want to be on the leaves that have been treated so they just put their egg sacs and their they lay their eggs all over all over the wires and you know how many of those there are so sometimes you can't see the eggs because your plants are you know wrapped all around them or whatever and the leaves are all out there so it's it's hard to find the bug eggs so we had a problem with um, um, stink bugs and those little uh, white moths that will lay you know their eggs that turn into hornworms later on they were laying them on the wire so it was hard to find um, and we had to deal with that we ended up getting a couple of praying mantises is that how you even is that the plural mantises but anyway so we could keep organic gardening some kind of weird worm larva that's half exposed. I think it realized that it got cold, but it was a little too late. So he only made it about halfway into his uh, cocoon before the cold hit. Good. Less of them to worry about. Anyway, by the time that most of these things, you know, realize it's warm enough to come back out, all of this will be um, burned. We're not keeping any of this in the compost, uh, mainly because. Um, there were, at, you know, at the last bit of the season, we had an issue, and I want to make sure that nothing's living in something, and then I'll just, you know, raise it in my compost so that it can affect everything. <laughs> That's stupid. So anyway, I'm going to wrap this up, and I'll just show you um, my uh, arched trellises as we kind of go out so you can see. I mean, you can still see that I had some beans that were hanging on whenever um, the cold snap hit and the frost came and those beans didn't make it because you know beans aren't designed for frost.
But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.